Ebro in the morning, Laura Styles, Rosenberg, and New Year, first interview of twenty fifteen. That's how you started off. Now that's how I'm you started off. Crit. Crit is here. Give yeah. it up for Big Crit. What's going on? Yeah, yeah, man. We here. Crit. A couple yeah. things we're gonna deal with. All Obviously right. the new album. All right, let's All go. Right. Um, I'm not gonna get into my problem with you oh, oh. early, early Ooh. in the interview. That's All not right. what we're gonna do. All we're gonna right. save that till the end because I, because your music and your rhymes uh -huh. and what you bring to hip hop needs to be respected first and foremost. No doubt. Okay. Um, and let's start the interview. <laughs> let's start this interview. Um, teach, because I would consider this show mainstream. Right, okay. you're like a you're a, you're one of hip hop's champions coming from the underground, that. building your way up since 2006. Was it? I mean, shoot, no, nah, it's a little bit before that. But um, yeah, but people 2000, didn't know 2005. You know, first mixtape came out for real. Got yeah. it. But so, on a national scale, I feel like people started knowing your name really only 2010, something like that, right? Uh, Nine. It depends though. When did you first was, come up here? I mean, well, I, yeah, I first came up here in 2010. So maybe what yeah. 2008? That yeah, you, you I mean, a, yeah, we, yeah, because I started working with a lot of uh, DJs around that time too right. so yeah like so I want to focus on that right? right because there's a lot of new artists and there's a lot of I think when Rosenberg put it very well we were talking this morning you're one of those rappers that haven't necessarily had hit records mm -hmm. but all the other rappers respect your grind no and doubt. respect what you bring to the game Yeah. Um. how did you go about those relationships and where is it straight work ethic how did Big Crick get where he is today I mean, yeah it would definitely be a lot of work ethic I mean a lot of because a lot of those artists had heard about my music prior to everybody else you know and just seeing me out and about um, you know working with Currency with Smoke Dizza and just being on the scene with production as well because I was bringing that to the table too like mm -hmm. yeah I can either rap on one of your songs or I got I these the beats beat, yeah. and seeing me at the beat battles and the open mics and just making my rounds and, and it, was, it was just one of those things that, that people really just you know saw my determination and uh, I think that went over and then when I started to drop the content they knew that I was coming from a place that was actually me and it wasn't me trying to do no more than nothing else it was like yeah it wasn't no crit. gimmicks it wasn't nothing nah. you was telling your story I'm telling my story and they knew that so Talk about um, where you're from in Mississippi. Yeah, Meridian, um, Mississippi, man. What, what is that? You know, for us, I've, I've I mean, never even been to the state of yeah, Mississippi well, Meridian, to start there. Meridian Mississippi, Meridian, Mississippi is the second largest city in, in uh, Mississippi. You know okay. what I'm saying? It's also called the Queen City. Uh, I mean, you got to go down there, man. It's it's important for people to at least go to Mississippi. You been to Mississippi, period? Never no. been to the state. Wow, God damn. I've never been to Alabama or Mississippi. Oh, you missing out. You missing out, man. Well, I, you know, I... I um. And I got people in uh, Montgomery, Alabama, yeah. and it's always like, yeah, you know what? Man, you Them Confederate go. flags and all that. I'm good. Why don't y'all come up here? It's Man, more to do. What shit? It's 2015. But they, yeah. I'm but, still, I, you know, but I they wear, know. But they wearing Confederate flags everywhere now. True, true. But content. they be at the state capitol and, out there, though. It be over the, the capitol building. This is what I will say, man. People get it twisted, but at least going down there, what you realize is if somebody don't like you, you, you sure. know they don't like you. Well, and that's why I wanted to know nah. more about the South, right? You because know they don't like you. That deep South that you're from is mm. different than probably anywhere in the United States. I mean, but it's but because it, it it goes it goes far back yeah. and it's understood. And when people don't mm -hmm. when people don't like you, they don't like you. If they don't like you because yeah. you're black, they don't like you because you're white. If they in yeah. the KKK, whatever they in, everybody yeah. knows where everybody's coming from. But you gotta also understand too that the thing is, people have seen what Hollywood is also portrayed. And normally, the first thing that they talk about as far as Mississippi is the racism. Yeah, and everything else is just ignored. That how as far as our background and blues and jazz and mm -hmm. the counterculture and stuff. And Southern hospitality is real. People want you to see the positivity of where we're from. So when you go down there, it's open arms from people just waving at you, want to make sure you good, especially if you come with me. And that's what I'm trying to express to people. It's like, it's not what you see on television. Then until you go down there, you really won't understand the gravity of my music or who I am as a person and why I'm so adamant about, yo, it's positive. We were educated. Like, there's a lot of constructive things going on. But you got you to gotta bring that energy there, too. Artists completely skip over these states like Alabama, Mississippi, and Arkansas because they don't know no better. Mm -hmm. But they have fan base down there and people go to the stores and buy their albums. They might not be connected to your blog sites. They might not be connected to Twitter and your social networking. But as soon as they see that post of that flyer, they go into the nearest Target, Walmart, Best Buy and buy an album. And that, and it album. One of the main reasons I wanted you to come um, and we're going to get into a song next. You pick whatever song you want us to right, play. Cool. Um, is because I wanted to under you know I know Banner and I've known yeah, Banner for a long time yeah, right yeah, yeah. um so I hear the stories mm -hmm. but I've never actually been myself yeah you got and go. I think that a lot of times you know people hear your music mm -hmm. but they don't necessarily know a lot about what's going on down there like you said other no than doubt. what we see uh, in mainstream mm -hmm. media so does it frustrate you when you hear people like 
educated people like Ebro, who within 40 <laughs> seconds of mentioning the state of Mississippi, mention the KKK, yeah. as if that's raging at this moment every yeah, day. It's not It's not like that anymore. It's, it's especially, I mean, because, you know, now you have not See, only See, they just hiding networks, it, though. That's what it is. But, I mean, but then racism hiding. is hiding everywhere. Nobody expected <laughs> no, Donald you're Sterling right, to right. just pop you're off right. and be like, you know. You're right. Like, so I mean, don't, I did. It don't matter. It well, don't matter where Rosenberg you at. does have Rosenberg has a thing where he'll go. He'll, you know, he's Donald old Sterling's and white, seven and white, and you it'd be, you'd be like, "Yo, you're surprised he's racist? Yo, like, really?" It's Bill one Burke, thing if you're 27 and white, you'd be like, "Yo, you still on it?" It's that? everywhere, man. It's everywhere. So it's not. It's not just in the deep south. You know, I recommend, by the way. Sorry, aside to this, everyone yeah. watch Bill Burr's new comedy special. <laughs> he does a thing about Same Donald Sterling, <laughs> and he's like, "Yo." The fact that he didn't say the N word in that is the biggest <laughs> surprise of the whole thing. Yeah. Oh man. He's like, it wasn't even that bad when you think about that. How old and white he was. Yo. So listen, the album Catalactica is on sale right now. Okay. Pick Raphael, a joint, man. Raphael Sadiq's on the album. Yeah. Rico Love E40's on the Woo. album. Yeah. Devin the Dude's on the album. Lupe Fiasco's on the album. Yeah. Lupe Fiasco's on the album. Yeah. ASAP Ferg is on. She talking about respect Big from your peers. B, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Definitely. Mar Ruby. Yeah. Yeah. So what you want to get into right now? Man, let's go with King of the South since we're talking about the Everybody South. Everybody thinks they the King of the South. All right, man. But you definitely can't be King of the South on Catalactica because I created a whole planet <laughs> first I, off. All right, fair enough. And the way I feel is I'm it's, it's me. So, it's like, so why Catalactica, though? Man, because I, I wanted to tell the story of where the Cadillac came from that crash landed on Live from the Underground. And um, for me, I, it was always important that all my projects actually mean something and tie some way into each other and so it just gave me an opportunity like all right i'm gonna create this planet and it not so much be about cadillacs but just on this planet is everything's a little obscure my the, even some of the songs and just, just the sounds and just kind of trying to step out of my comfort zone that's right and um and i think i was able to man and then to tell the whole story as far as a lifespan on an actual project was a it was a feat, but I, I was excited to be able to do the album, man, and for people to hear the whole story unfold. And then I, Lord knows where I'm going from here. Lord Staff. No, so you're cool with Ti, right? Yeah. yeah so he doesn't feel a certain type of way for nah. you having a song called King of the yeah, South. We, you calling yourself King of the it's, South? It's all good. Cause he, I mean, at the end of the day, I expressed that first off, that's just how I feel, and I'm supposed to have supposed that kind of confidence to, yeah. in myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then to, to have dropped so much music and knowing I'm going to keep dropping music and at this point just knowing and being comfortable with, you know what I'm saying, just my talent as far as I'm, I'm good. And then knowing that I wasn't trying to disrespect any OGs right, right, and then right. even expressing that in the record was extremely important. You know, and so, but it's it's my movement and my mind frame, and on Calatico, why wouldn't I be? So musically, who would we be very surprised that Big Crit is a fan of? Like, what would you know? Mm. Musically, what is Big Crit that as fans of his would be like? Wow, Crit's listening to that. Man, that's crazy. Um, because technically, I always express I'm always dropping obscure records that I always listen to anyway. Um, you know, and normally people, I mean, definitely Adele. Uh, would be one. Um, who else? Dang, that's crazy because I'm always naming people. So I'm trying to give you something that people might not. So you're expect. you're always trying to push people's musical palette into a different place. Yeah, to, like, yeah, yeah. Get I'm their always taste buds. Yeah, I'm always to do it. Like I've I've really like Def Cab for Cutie. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like these kind of people. Like I'm I'm you know like I like trip hop. Like I be jamming a lot of stuff that people wouldn't even expect me to be jamming on my all time. And then back to the soul music because that's what inspired me when I was younger, and so it still inspires me now. But Definitely Kanye, still you yeah, know, jamming Kanye. I, I love what Pharrell's doing musically, so yeah. And what's your rappers, your top five rappers? Let's let's hear it. Top five, top from five Big rappers. Crit. I'm just going to say the rappers that I really enjoy listening to, because that, that top five thing is like. It's too much. It's, so it's all, but like, no, but it's, it's open for debate. Yeah. What, I mean, who you going I to? What I you mean, going to? I definitely got to, you, you were talking about Bun B, would yeah. definitely be one. Scarface, um, no doubt. Um, definitely Pac, Andre 3000. Um, yeah, and uh, let me think. I gotta put these two cats in the group A Ball and MJG. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so you are definitely from the south, boy. I'm why, why about you that. say, why, and why you gotta say, boy? I, like that. Boy I don't like know. That. That. Yeah. I meant boy, yeah, yeah. I didn't mean boy. I mean, the thing is, really is that if you if <laughs> you gotta understand, like, it's one of those situations where growing up, they rapped about things that I could walk outside and see. It related no, to yeah, it. Yeah, no well, no, and A Ball and MJG. Yeah. And no, by the way, I didn't mean that to say that to take away from any of the people on the list. I'm just saying it's. Literally, that you know, almost everyone you named, practically, with the exception of three thousand mm. and maybe Pac, mm. uh, East Coasters, people who are East Coast biased, wouldn't have named 
any of the other names on your well, list. Well, those shape they shape that sound. Yeah, a I lot, mean, a lot of what especially you hear in spaceships Krim. and like they, you must love Eight Ball and MJG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But see, the thing is, a lot of people they they stop they were they were sampling back then, but a lot of that was live instrumentation. Yep, yep. So I had to learn that perspective of creating records for myself because a lot of East Coast and West Coast was sampling, sampling music, yeah. and I sampled. But I also was listening to these artists like UGK. They was that was original music they was creating mm -hmm. that you thought was a sample, but no, it was somebody coming in there playing that bass line on that organ, you know. And so that gave me more as far as being well rounded with production because I learned how to have eight oh eight and snare drums over live instrumentation so i mean and then you know if you if you never really sat down and listened to in my lifetime you know what i'm saying by a ball and mjg you might miss out on how lyrical those cats are very you know what i'm saying and so it, it's one of those things like you, you gotta go you gotta listen do you get frustrated by um the perception of the south and hip-hop by not by it not being lyrical because you know that perception exists i mean i, I express that most people n n have never really went to where a lot of these artists come from i never seen their block you know it's not a vacation destination to go to meridian mississippi so if you've never been there you have no want to go there it almost transcends to my music you hear my music and i'm talking about things that you probably are turned off by don't even want to listen to and so that also will have a part in what you think my lyrical content is or how important well i think people think see you as lyrical is. yeah i mean but but I, I do think the south gets a stigma oh yeah definitely of not being the artists that come from there definitely. not always being lyrical because there's tons of lyrical artists you oh, just yeah. named a bunch yeah you, but yeah. there's a lot of popular ones now that get hit with the oh they ain't saying nothing tag yeah but uh, everybody's using the same formula nowadays to make a hit record and normally when you talk about a hit record, it's made to be simplistic so people can learn it. And it's not even rap music. This is music, music in general. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I think when it just comes to the South and, you know, and maybe the bass heavy aspect, people have a, a opinion when it comes to it. It's like, oh, that's too simple for me. And it's just, it's just always the South. I have no, and that might be, again, them having no want to go to the South and just how movies have portrayed people in the Southern mentality mm -hmm. as to be slow uneducated and that's just how it is and i'm trying to change it you got artists like killer mike david killer, banner you know, these people are run the like, jewels is my know, favorite album right now and, and we, we here but this ain't the first time these kind of albums and this kind of message have been pushed no. we've been pushing it well can we can we let's say so. something right here that is not going to be popular among the morons on youtube and this is coming from captain east coast bias underground who, who hip -hop. is that me oh. The reason the South gets labeled with being simplistic, if it does, is because, like Crit said, hit songs are simplistic. I have news for you. Every hit is by a Southern artist. I got news for you. Everything else is by a Southern artist. The South has been running hip-hop for at least a decade. At least a decade. So, when you look at the last 10 years of hip-hop, and you're like, oh, man... There's so much whack shit. Yeah, guess what? There's always mainstream whack shit. Over the last 10 years, a lot of it's coming from the South. But all the best music, not all. By the way, guys, relax. Not all. But predominantly, the best music has also been coming from the South. Everything's been coming from the South. I have to say that I feel you as far as South having hits. I can't say it's whack shit, but I feel you as far as the South but some, having You can't say but some I is whack say, shit? But I will say this, that once people figure out a formula, and if you're a producer, you know what people want to hear. So, you know, you go to the, the rapper and the artist, you be like, oh, why would this artist rap? But as a producer, you know where the wave is going. And so you start creating within that wave. Me being the kind of producer, before I just be like, I don't like that artist, he always on some whack shit. I'm trying to figure out a way, how can I bring him into my world? How can I create a record that you probably be like, man, I hate that rapper, but that song right there is jamming. Because Listen, in order to be able to write, in order to be able to write a song, that takes a lot of crit, skill. Crit, what, takes, don't, what a lot of what people saying? don't know about me is most of the most of the most lyrical individuals don't make great songs, in my opinion. Yeah, and it's because they spend so much time focusing on just the lyrics mm -hmm. and not the music. Of course, yeah. the reason I like you is because I get both. Yeah, right. I dig it. The reason I liked Outkast was because I got songs mm -hmm. and lyrics. The reason yeah. I like Hove is because Hove allows producers to produce him. Yeah, and he, he focuses on his rhymes and he gets other mm -hmm. people to make the beats. A lot of artists that swear that they nice with bars and all that don't have a good production team to help them make the good song. Yeah, well, I'm here. I got you. What is that? I got, I got tracks. I'm working. But Ebro, don't double. <laughs> but Ebro, don't double talk either, because Crit could fit into the first category you're saying. He's super lyrical. He hasn't sniffed a hit yet. 
Yeah, that's but not a diss. I'm sorry, it hasn't happened. I mean, no, but yeah, this, but that's not double but, talk. But I, you, I was just talking about my but, opinion. Oh, for what you like, for what I like. A hit from what perspective? The bullshit that I was just talking about. You know, you know, I see. You, and then you would be talking about what radio plays. Yes, that's what you're talking about. Yes. So why y'all don't play my record? Well, I mean, listen, well, we just that, did. That's a, here's, a, here's a great. <laughs> well, what up? Here's a great. Here's a great transition. Great transition. Great transition. My issue with you, Diani DD Digital, come to the stage, please. You said earlier today, why were you frustrated with Big Crit? I was quite frustrated. I've been a fan for a very, very mm -hmm. long time. Um, we had you on Summer Jam. Mm -hmm. We supported you first. Mm -hmm. And you go to the other radio station, which is cool. I'm just a little bit confused on why you mm -hmm. wouldn't want to promote your album here. Who supported you? That's what I'm saying. We all supported you. Yeah, I appreciate that. But for one, when it comes time for schedules and I'm in the midst of a tour, and they'd be like, yo, you need you to go do all of this here. I'm literally in the mind frame, all right, cool, boom, 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 and then I'm going to go do this show. So if it don't pop up, then I'm like, damn, did they not want to do that? Well, we can be trying to figure that out right now. Then I dropped a record called Mount Olympus. Right, yes. Nobody talked about that record up here, if I'm not mistaken. Right. And then when it came time for other artists to come up here that I know might have heard that record, that question wasn't posed. I get asked about rappers all the time, and most of them I got real relationships with. But people never ask those rappers about me. And <laughs> sometimes I'll be like, well, why? Well, why that, why that didn't happen? Why that question didn't pose? And I dropped a record that was specifically made in a way that I right, people are going to talk. And I saw people talking about it, but it wasn't talked about in certain realms where I feel like people are supposed to be neutral. So when it came time to drop my album, I looked at it from the perspective of, I looked at it from the perspective of, okay, I'm going to go do this. I don't know if these people fuck with me for real or not. I hope so. But I'm not against coming here, obviously, because I'm here. Right. But we obviously fuck with you more yeah, than yeah. the other radio stations. See, That's what I'm just saying. I don't know what kind I of... I mean, Y'all got know. beef with all the radio no, no, stations? Of course we do. <laughs> no, yes, we do. <laughs> but what I'm saying is that we totally supported you. Yeah. And when Mount Olympus came out, mm -hmm. we talked about it. Mm -hmm. I'm, I remember... You were, But you can't be sure. No, you no, remember I talking remember. about it in the coffee room? Was it on video in you the was in the break room? room? It was on video. It, was in the break it room. is or it's not? No, it's not on video. Okay. Oh, it was in the break room. No, not the, <laughs> no, not well, that's a separate. It's on <laughs> that's what I'm saying. We supported yeah. it. We talked about it. We talked Trust about paying attention. Yeah, that's hey, true. When, it, when comes, it came out, yeah. your album came out. Uh, I listen, I'm gonna keep it real. I called uh, you. I called you that day upset because I'm uh, just telling you this, Brit. You gotta understand. I'm neutral, bro. No, no, no you should. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm you neutral. should do everything. I but I think, yeah. I think, as, like what Danny's trying to say, you made time to go over there, but you didn't come here. Yeah, when we're the ones who've been supporting you from the beginning. I dig that. But if you saw my schedule, I really didn't make time to do much of nothing before I had to go. I'm to just the telling stage. you this. That's I'll just be honest with you. <laughs> but, so it's like, but it just for the record, you know the song. How we just played your song a few yeah, minutes ago. Yeah, that is one more spin than you are ever gonna get on the other stage because <laughs> hey, they're too busy corrupting see, the minds be, of people be, to ever be, play that and I'll be hey, honest man. I'll be honest hey. I don't feel no type of way hey, right? thank you and that's only uh, and I'm going to tell you why because I always watch the trajectory of music in the game mm -hmm. and I know the politics and I know how everything mm -hmm. plays out and I know you're a great guy and you love yeah. hip hop music so at a, for us and for, well, for me specifically I knew you would come by when you had time yeah. right would I like you to come by earlier and make us a priority sure mm -hmm. but you will make us a priority because you're going to need us because we're the only ones breaking motherfucking <laughs> rap music right <laughs> so you'll come check us I mean, you it, have to but in the same realm I'm going to come back through with more hot shit so I'm going to be here anyway because I'm going to be one of the people and that I, got and here's the other thing I agree with that go, too. See, so go, see, go see everybody that wants to see you all the time <laughs> no, and that's, no that's I'm, sincere no that's sincere yeah, 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 yeah. listen no 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 we no no, 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 no. <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> I'm serious. Promote okay. yourself. I no want doubt. everybody to embrace what no you're doing doubt. because you're a producer that makes dope records. Yeah. And you got and you're an MC and you love hip hop and you yeah. always talking about cultural things and you're pushing music forward. So no within the hip hop space. So I appreciate that. No right? doubt, and bro. you're a good dude. Yeah, I'm doing um, this. So I you know how these how she feels. I'm she took so, it personal. I, 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 she took I'm it personal. Sorry, no, no, <laughs> how, can I just say one last thing in closing? Yeah, just no, to sorry. be clear, because not everyone understands playing the politics and bullshit, which okay. I don't want anyone to play. Yeah. Everyone should do whatever they do. Okay. I'm gonna just say this on Deanna's behalf. The, the reason I felt away is a okay. someone on your team, be it the mm. label, be it your management. Mm. I'm not throwing a bullet. Mm. I mean, I don't personally think the label gives a shit about you. No offense, <laughs> sorry guys, but in my opinion, someone dropped the fucking ball because mm. you and I know mm. that 
we've been homies. Mm. We've known each other for, I'm not saying we're best friends, known yeah. you for years, yeah. right? You've come up here four years ago yeah. before the other station knew what your name was, yeah, even I'm though I know sure. dudes from the South and likes to claim everything from the South. He wasn't fucking with your shit. <laughs> so <laughs> I actually break records. Yeah, played you, shots, right? it's like, it's like, <laughs> I played you then. Yeah. Oh, that's a blatant shot. Yeah. I'm the only person who really breaks records. So in my opinion, I always want people who mm. rep the kind of culture that we love mm. to make it a priority. Like, yo, we got to go see Rosenberg. He's the guy who actually plays music. And then okay. as a result, be honest i feel a little fucked up about it because you're such a great artist and this year i sort of missed a lot of your shit because no one was hitting me about it yeah. and i can't i don't have the t i don't really go through everything on the blogs mm. with someone like you was established i need the shit sent to me like yo uh, here's my new shit damn. let's go damn, i just feel like we missed opportunities i dig it but see that's why we here it's 2015 well we're starting fresh that's why we're i want to be totally blatant i would yeah. never want to be upset and then i tell you yeah. i was a little annoyed and see at this point then you got to feel like man crit just rocking and, and, and believe in music because it's not like i'm coming up here like oh I'm just oh 100 i never yeah. I never expect that for yeah, a second. Man. I know that you got your schedule. You go do the shit you're gonna do. Oh, I'm yeah. just saying. I want you to know, as people who believe in pushing the conversation of hip hop forward, no doubt, we want to see you. We okay. want you to be a part of this thing. Well, I am, man. We you're, you're people a, heard that we here. We good. You're I not. Got you. I, 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 so I just want you to understand where I, it comes from. It's yeah, all right. from a positive Lord, space. <laughs> What's my face say right there? <laughs> what am I? In, am I in building? Building? I'm building? Building? Too oh. much? <laughs> no, no, no. You can build. He just he like he just like hey. Now listen, that was great. We got to make room for Sin Santana. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, Crit, uh, yeah. as we get you out of here, what song you want to get on for the people? Man, so this is the last one? Yeah. 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 I mean, yo, my man, play? two yeah. out of the gate. That's pretty good. I'm just saying. Uh, listen, how many you want to play? How no, much do you think the people going to pay mean, attention but, to? Nah, they're going to pay attention like to all pay, of I like it because it's quality music. Speaking of pay attention, you want to get to pay attention? Man, you know what? Uh, he doesn't no, want no. to. It was a great trying, segue, no, no, but no, 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 I'm trying to figure cause you. I'm trying because you need to play more than more than one. But run, run, pay attention, man. Shout out to homie Rico Love. Quick, well, couple things before we let you go. Yeah. Um, tonight you're on. Yeah, Fallon. Yeah, we doing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, That's man. the Tonight Show, by the oh, way. Oh yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> it's, it's extremely important. You did yeah. old Fallon. Yeah. Before, right? Yeah. But now yeah. you're doing the Tonight yeah, Show. The Fallon. Tonight Show Fallon with the homie Rafael Sadiq. So oh, he's coming out with yeah. you. Yeah. That's super tight. That's dope. Yeah. So I'm excited up. about that, man. It's, it's time. You know, people need to hear that kind of message as well. So I'm excited to do that record. By uh, the way, tell Ebro, I, I don't know if you know this. Yeah. You've also worked with another older, much older than Rafael Sadiq icon in music. Yeah. BB uh, King, man. I got a song Word. with BB King. That makes sense. Yeah. The makes crazy sense. thing, you, you haven't heard that song? No. Let me put you on. It. Crit. That was on my last album. That was on my. Game, crit. That was on my <laughs> yeah, it was a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> listen, man. I, I, you know, I listen to Crit. I like it. I don't yeah. study it. They it's study. It. Listen, man. You it's saw like, they caught feelings. Yeah, man. But it's they BB, upset with you. It's BB King, though, bro. It's, like that. No, no, no. that you just got to. No, it's I will check it out. I didn't know right. about it. Yeah, so. I'm just saying, your big fans here, yeah. who you've been giving the Heisman to, yeah. for the last, <laughs> since the album came out. Uh, it ain't been like that. It ain't like that at all. Yo, you was hitting with the Karate Kid. Nah, not even. Not even. Yo, did you? Did you happen to? See our interview with um, Azealia Banks. Yeah, man. Yeah, she she's definitely on a, on a wave. She got a movement. She, you know, it's, it's good to see somebody that just doesn't care about what people think and they just going for it. You know, no political curve about it. It's like she just yeah. Those were her emotions, raw emotions. Yeah, man. You gotta love it, man, because that's what the art form is all about. Do you feel? Um Anyway, uh, about the music and like uh, it going to a place that is potentially not good. Or are you happy with where hip hop's at right now? Man, I feel like when it comes to what I do, I'm I'm still fighting my own battles as far as being an artist and just being played and recognized and trying to get it to where people understand that it is something important and as far as subject matter and content in my music to the point where I really can't judge and be so aggressive towards somebody else's content because I got my own battle going on. It's like, man, I'm still trying to make people go to my state you know it's, it's bigger than just me and dropping a record off you know and, that, and that's what my movement is so i can't really just speak on that the whole grammy thing and all that stuff man lord willing that i'll just be able to put out music that's respected and people acknowledge it more and start to see and that's what i'm all about and that's what 2015 is about is branding multi you know to the fullest and you know cal lab the cuz out people can see the growth you know you can go to target now and go get it all my fans shout out to the people that were supporting and we out here, man. And that's what it's about for me. Are you proud of what you're seeing around the Eric Garner and Mike Brown stuff? Yeah, it's, it's great to see people actually standing up, you know, for something now. It's important that we as not only the hip hop community, but just as, as human beings, we have to start saying no and, you know, stop 
And for me, I never wanted to use hip hop. I will just because my album's out now. I'm gonna take a righteous stand and like, no, nah, that's not what I'm about. Tragedy is tragedy, and I never wanted to use that in order to push my own agenda. That's not cool. And so I'm just glad to see a lot of people that don't necessarily do music, you know, standing out. And then the people that do speak on it, like the Talib Kweli, David Banner, Killer Mike. You can tell there's no alter, alter, you know, like no ulterior no motives, ulterior motives yeah. going on. It's just this is them. And they're doing their research about it. And they get on CNN and they speak in a way that makes me extremely proud, not only to be a hip hop artist, but just a black man in general. And so, you know, I think people are starting to pay a whole lot more attention. Well, I, think, uh, violence, I think on that note, we get into the Raphael Sadiq joint. Yeah, man. You, this is yeah, going yeah. on tonight. Yeah, it's going on tonight, man. This is the record Soul Food featuring Raphael Sadiq. His name is Big Crit, the album Catalactica. Crit. What happened to the soul? Food? Nice meeting you, man. Same to you, man. Oh, wait, we met before. We met before. You said we met before. Yeah, we did. We met before. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> when, when did we meet? Well, the first time I came through here was about four he, years ago. He did real late. A and some I, and oh, you've been Jeff supporting him for four years. Damn. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> he yeah, set you up. Why you set you up? Yeah, yeah, man. See, Damn, man, it's, it's like, crazy, yeah. And, and then I came through right. then. And then I've seen him at a number of occasions. Where yeah, we was in yeah, Seattle. Y'all talk all the time. Yeah. <laughs> so I wouldn't say nah, but, we, but you know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a uh, an acknowledgement at the end of the oh. day when I see the homie. And of course. You text? Y'all text? It's crazy. We haven't texted in a minute. Yeah. We have each other's numbers, though. Because when I came here, I actually debuted on the the album came out like Wait, we ground. debuted an yeah. album for you before. Yeah, you was around and but it's unfortunate you don't oh, know any crazy. of the songs that was on that thing. <laughs> yo, man. You know? we, yo, we been and in it's the kinda unfortunate. It's kinda unfortunate Jeez. you know probably none of the re albums, you know, records on this new album. But yeah, man. it's all man. good. We though, started man. today though. <laughs> Hey, Meridian, Mississippi, big crit. Yeah, this man, guy's our yo, Rosenberg. 300 block. Yo, I want to big up to you on this album. This is like your, what, ninth album? Ten thousand? Yeah, it's like mm -hmm. 10. 10, man. Yeah, right. we out here, man. And Rosenberg, salute to you for supporting him for so many years. I don't know if man. I... Listen, I'm not See, saying I that, championed <laughs> big crit, And that's okay? why he's I, saying that, because he know, like, it's... It was yeah. his Def Jam debut. I went hard for that. That's he's a great guy and a great yeah, artist. Man. I just wanted to give him a hard time. Even yeah, just let bro. it go. Oh, We're on positive things. Nah, well, we slide, slide. God, I'm Deanna, come, stop crying. I'm Everything's come, good. <laughs> I'm gonna come through with a crit pack and I'm gonna have yes, some t-shirts, t-shirts, and some CDs because to kind of update you on the content. <laughs> no, listen, listen. <laughs> yeah. I've, already, I've already bought. I've already bought the. Album. I appreciate it, man. I'm, I bought the. I'm, I'm, the I'm gonna get you some music. I'm gonna get you some music. You know who's really to blame here? Let's be 100 percent honest. Is it you know? Shaka Zulu. Nah, he knows all of us. Nah, this is shocking. Yeah, yeah. It's really Jeff's fault. Let's yeah, be yeah. Oh, These man, are all people. Is... So let, I'm glad finally. <laughs> man, shout out to the team, been, man. I've been in communication shout with him for 15 years. <laughs> 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 Yo, with Raphael oh, Sadiq, man, pick up that album Catalactical, man. Go. Thank you, man. Thank you.